Okay, so we've got a pentagon. And write an expression for the perimeter. That's the length all the way around the outside. So if I start here, I've got three x's. And another one, that's four, five, six x's, seven, eight x's, nine x's. So that'll be nine x. Let's simplify this. So I'm going to do the x's first. Four x's plus two x's, six x's. I've got add three y's, and then I've got take away eight y's. So that'll be minus five y's. So on the x and y, I've got numbers now minus 2 and then take away 6 that'll be minus 8. Okay this bit here now I've got two of these rectangles identical to this and I've got to work out the perimeter so I'm going to put the measurements on there that's obviously x and that's 2 and that's x and this bit's 2 and that bit's x and that bit's 2 and I've also got to work out this bit here if the whole thing there's x and that's 2, that bit will be x minus 2. And then I've got to work out the expression for the perimeter. So how many x's? I've got 1x, 2x's. I've got positive x here, that's 3x's. I've got 4x's. What about numbers? I've got 2, and now 2 makes 4. I've got to take away 2, which will be down to 2 again, plus that 2 makes 4. So that's going to be 4x plus 4. There's actually another way you could have done it. You could have had your shape like this. And these blue lines there, which are that x and this one here, we could have put them this way. We sort of, sort of bent them outwards. So this one here could come across here. This one could have come down here. And then what we have had would have had this bit being x and that being being two. This whole side will be x. So that whole side will be x. And this side obviously will be x and two as well. And it gives one, two, three, four x's plus four gives me the same answer, doesn't matter, but that's a more likely way you're looking at it. And that's question 11 done.